gonna show you how to make a skin tightening facial mask. Mask contains brightening properties that is gonna brighten the skin. Also, it's gonna get rid of dark spots and blemishes on the skin. It's gonna firm the skin and leave your skin hydrated. So if you're looking for a homemade facial mask to tighten and brighten the skin, follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time. So in this video, I'm gonna be using eggs, and I'm using white eggs. However, use whatever kind of egg you have, whether it's organic, whether it's white, whether it is brown, eggs are just eggs. Now, I'm using these eggs because egg can help to improve skin texture, whether it be dry skin or oily skin. Egg yolk is rich in fatty acid, which can lend moisture to the skin, while the egg white contain albumin, a simple form of protein that help tighten pores and also remove excess oil from the skin. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using the egg white. Now, egg also contains vitamins, a, and that is what is going to help to boost the collagen production and tighten and firm the skin. It also contains folate and it also contains a decent amount of vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, B vitamins and calcium. And that's what makes egg amazing to use on the skin. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to extract the egg yolk from the egg white. As a matter of fact, guys, the entire egg can be used on your body. You can choose to use the egg yolk in your hair or you can choose to make a facial mask which is going to hydrate the skin you can use the white as a tightening mask so it's just amazing for the skin so let's first extract the egg yolk from the egg white now what I do this I just do a simple method by just cracking the egg and working it from side to side like I'm showing here and then this is how it got look at this easy as that I extract the egg white from the egg yolk there are other ways to do this but this is the way I prefer so now we have our egg white I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna introduce another amazing ingredient for the skin now our next ingredient is yogurt and I like to use yogurt on my skin I use the Greek yogurt but use the type of yogurt you have just make sure that it is plain unsweetened yogurt now the reason I personally like using yogurt on my skin is because it contains lactic acid an organic compound that aid in diminishing the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines by tightening and shrinking large pores meanwhile adding yogurt Yogurt to your skincare regime and moisturize your skin and also delay the sign of aging. It also contains riboflavin that keep the skin glowing and hydrated and also aid in cell growth and regeneration. Just perfect for your skin. A good substitute for yogurt would be milk. So I'm going to use about two tablespoons of the yogurt and what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a mix. I'm just going to wake the yogurt up, just a fluff it up with either a fork or a spoon and take a look. This is how you want it to look, really waking the yogurt up. Now let's move on to the next ingredient. Our next ingredient is honey and it's another amazing ingredient to use on the skin. Now honey contains several vitamins that are good for the skin. It contains ascorbic acid, which is in the form of a vitamin C that will help to lighten and brighten the skin and boost the collagen production in the skin. It also contains electrolytes as in the form of calcium, magnesium and potassium which help to tighten and firm the skin, hydrates the skin and when used on a regular will leave the skin just soft, supple with a natural glow. So I'm going to use one teaspoon of honey in the mixture. We really do not need a lot. A little goes a long way and we're just going to pour this in make sure to get everything out of the spoon a good way to get your honey out of your spoon is to oil your spoon with a little oil before you pour your honey in and now that this is done we are going to mix and we're going to mix well if you do not have honey a good substitute for honey is aloe vera gel Now moving on to our final ingredient, which is our egg white. And I'm using one tablespoon of the egg white. I'm gonna pour this in our honey and yogurt mixture. 
and I'm going to mix well. Now you want to totally blend this together like I'm showing here. Take your time to work the egg white in. You can also choose to put this in the blender and give it a little whisk. Now, once it is done, guys, your skin tightening facial mask is ready to use. This facial mask can be stored in your refrigerator for about three days. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it in my container, my storage jar. However, we're not really keeping this for very long, but definitely pour it in a jar so that you will be able to use it more conveniently. So now let's go on the other side and I'll show you how to use this on your face to tighten and firm the skin and also the smooth wrinkles and fine lines. So to use this mask, you want to apply it to clean skin. So you're going to wash your face the way you normally do. Now this mask, you can choose to use a brush or you can choose your hands to apply. I like to apply it with my hands and I'm just going to pour it in my hands. And then I'm just going to rub it like I'm showing you here. Take a look at that. And then I'm going to apply it all over my face. And it has a very pleasant fragrance to it. Let me reach back for some more. Just apply. Make sure to completely cover your face. Do not let this get in your eyes, but you can go as close as possible to your under eyes. And what I like to do with this mask, I like to apply the first layer and then I leave it on my skin for about five minutes or so. And then I go back and apply a second layer. Now this is the mask that is going to dry on your skin, guys. And that is where you're going to get the tightening effect of the facial mask so completely cover your face with the facial mask don't forget to go down and your neck and decollete if you're looking to tighten your neck also now this facial mask is good for tightening and firming and it is also good to clear the skin of spots and blemishes so you want to be totally generous with it when you apply it on your skin so now that i apply the facial mask to my skin i'm going to be sitting with this for about 30 minutes or so. After about 15 minutes, you're gonna to start to feel a tightening sensation on the skin. Not to worry, that is the mask working on the skin. Now to get the best benefit from this facial mask, you need to use it at least two to three times per week. After about a week or so, your dark spot should be fading, your skin should be looking more radiant, more glowing, and guess what guys, your face should be looking more tighter and firmer. So continue to use this facial mask until you get the result you desire. Now I've been sitting with this for about five minutes guys, and I'm already feeling the tightening sensation on my skin. The mask is already drying on my skin, and that's the beauty of this mask. It does not take forever to dry on the skin. Within five to 10 minutes, it's gonna dry, and you're gonna continue to sit with it for another 20 minutes or so. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, leave your comments. Those are always important. And if this was your first time watching, you wanna see more of these videos, look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.